Hello and welcome to a chip off the old block toys. I am Jeff and today we are here to review the Spider-Man's mask. This is set number 76285 released this year. 487 pieces and it retails for $69.99. Now I like this set and I promise my bias will not affect my review of this. But let me tell you something. When I was a kid, and I'm talking about between the ages of 8 and 12, I used to watch a Spider-Man cartoon. And I watch it religiously. I love the cartoon. And my uh, second oldest daughter has become a daughter after my own heart. And Spider-Man is her favorite character. So this one kind of has a special meaning to me just because I love Spider-Man. And in fact, when I was a kid, the Spider-Man theme sounded like this. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, or I've never watched one of my videos, I do several things here. I'll go over the dimensions, and then after the dimensions, I will go over uh, the review. And we review value, creativity, playability, ease of build, and part out value. And I assign a value, zero to 10. And zero is the, be is the worst, 10 is the best. And then we give you a sixth one, and that's the overall ranking where I average those first five scores. So let's go ahead and let's jump into the review. So the dimension on this mask is it's five inches by four and a half inches by seven and a quarter inches. On the metric scale, that's 12 and a half centimeters by 11 and a half centimeters by 19 and a half centimeters. Now for value, this one's kind of a weird one. It was difficult because I don't like stickers, and you guys know that. I've seen it almost every video. Stickers are just, they're, they're the bane of my existence. And this one comes with 11 stickers. But the weird thing is, the stickers are on these pieces, like right here. There's five of them. But this is printed. This is printed. That is printed. That is printed. And it's just so weird. And like the front here is printed too. So, I don't know. It was just kind of weird how they did a mixture of them. Uh, but, Besides the stickers, it retails for $69.99 and there's 487 pieces. That makes it 14.4 cents per piece, which, yeah, a lot of sets are 12 to 14 cents, so 14.4 would seem high, but then you have to factor in the fact this is a licensed character and there's always that premium when it's licensed. So I'm going to say 14.4 is actually a good value because it's not that much over 14 cents and it is licensed, so you know, give and take. But because it has stickers, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Creativity, though, I could do nothing less than a 10. This is Spider-Man. You cannot walk in the room, see this, and mistake it for anything else. I love how they made his eyes, um, just like the cartoon and everything else, how it's this bright white, uh, surrounded by the black, and it, it, the size of the eyes are awesome. That means that he can shoot his webs a lot better than Stormtrooper can because the Stormtrooper's eyes are not aligned. This is very much aligned. But anyway, small joke. Playability, well, I'll give it a six because you really can't play with this thing. I mean, it's meant to be displayed. And speaking of displayed, at the end of this video, I'll show you all the rest of my helmets I have. I have all of them. I have not built the Star Lord yet, but I do have it in a box. But I have the rest of the helmets, and we'll show you that at the end. Ease of build, well, well, first of all, I love the fact that they... Lego meaning they had this really nice thing right here and I'm sorry the cats decided to fight right then right now while I'm doing a video and but I do think this is cute how they have Spider-Man upside down just like the cartoon and eh, movies too so there's one instruction booklet 185 steps that makes it about two and a half per uh, step which isn't bad but I'll give you ease of build a six because there is a lot here uh, going on and also the part out value, I'm gonna give it a seven. And that's because there's not a lot you could do with a lot of these pieces, especially the ones that are printed. And the shape of the stuff, I don't know, there's not a whole lot you could do with it. There are no many figures to speak of, so that's that. And the overall ranking is a 7.6 if you average all those out. If you've made it this far into the video, I'd just like to say thank you. And if you appreciate the time that I put in this video and you like it, please hit the like button. If you're over on Rumble, give it a rumble. For those who don't know, that's just the like button over on Rumble. And if you feel like I've earned your subscription, please subscribe. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of this uh, and the other masks. 
And speaking of other masks, let's go check those out. As promised earlier, here's the rest of my collections of masks minus the Star-Lord. I have not built him yet. He's over in the pile to be built. But as you can see there, I've got the upscale minifigure on the bottom there. Got uh, Commander Cody, Captain Rex, Princess Leia. Got a Stormtrooper. We've got TIE Fighter Pilot, a Scout Trooper, Darth Vader, Boba Fett, Dark Trooper, Mandalorian, Darth, uh, Luke Skywalker's helmet, Hermione, and we've got the Infinity Gauntlet, the Nano Gauntlet, Harry Potter, Iron Man, Carnage, and boy, let's see, Batman, Batman, and Venom there. And I'm going to have to somehow uh, find a way to fit uh, Spider-Man in there. It's going to be quite the challenge. I'm out of space. If you want to help out the channel, here's a few ways. The first way is you can head over to Bricklink. And you can buy some pieces off me for your builds. That helps me, helps you. You get parts you need. I get the money I need to do these independent reviews of these sets. Another way you can help out the channel is watch another video right after this one. That triggers the algorithm, and the more you do that, the more the algorithm pushes this out to a new audience. And that's exactly what's needed here. And if you also like to help out the channel, you can share a link to this or any other video on other social media platforms to get the word out to the channels here. I appreciate anything you do, including watching this video and hitting the like button. And I enjoy making these videos. Be good to each other. Stay safe out there, and I'll catch you on the next one.